Hi all, today we are going to discuss about HTTP streaming and how it's helped in our real world scenario. What are know the exact use cases of it? These are the things we are going to cover today. Generally speaking, HTTP streaming is like a continuously sending data from server to client over an HTTP protocol. Like it's like instead of waiting or uh, like require a complete file download, it's, it's like a, a, a server send data to the client without getting the complete uh, file. That is the main difference between the HTTP streaming and HTTP. As this image suggests, maybe you all guys all are familiar with the, uh, what is the standard HTTP protocol like client sending request to server and server after getting all the complete resources server sending back that resource to client like that but when you talk about the HTTP stream the thing is different like the server sending data by chunk by chunk so instead of waiting to get all the resources but the initial part it's part by part server sending to the client so the user does not need to wait to complete load uh, to get the complete resource instead of that uh, uh, part by part is able to access the resource like uh, for example like for a uh, streaming like a video streaming or something instead of download the complete video user can able to see the initial part of the video and the part by part of the video fully able to get from the server these are the main difference between the stand normal HTTP and HTTP streaming now we are going to explain about discuss about how exactly we can implement the HTTP streaming in Spring Boot based REST APIs so I have a repository based on the HTTP streaming in GitHub so you can check out this repository in uh, github.com slash google dash slash stp streaming i put this in the url inside the description of this video so you that you can check out the repository there so as of now i have a, a few rest api already defined so the, uh, by this we can now uh, explain how how this api can be uh, with, the, with the help of the stream how this API can be make more faster and uh, how we can implement exactly the HTTP streaming in the API so we we'll talk about the first one I uh, did just like a uh, giving a stream like a uh, line number one up to the 5000 so but only the cache case is like a, uh, we have added a thread sleep inside this API so every uh, after in, inside the loop every execution is asleep for the 5 milliseconds so we'll talk about 5 into 5000 it's almost uh, 25,000 milliseconds that's exactly equal to the uh, almost 25 seconds so uh, after, to complete the, all the calculation inside this uh, particular function uh, it take 25 seconds so I assume it's already run uh, so if I take this so uh, URL in the browser. Let's see what happened. Even though URL is not the correct one. Hope it's not loaded correctly. Let me rerun it again. I think it's open in the 8080 port. Uh, there is no context path and with API and without uh, streams. So I'm trying to reload again. It's including. Seems like um, 
only after completing all the calculation uh, this api going to uh, give the response so that's like a, we should wait for like at least 25 seconds or so now uh, the uh, data is loaded so now i am going to we mean ISTP streaming inside that so that instead of waiting for this 25 seconds how we can so I am going to copy the same block of code and paste it again I need to give uh, one different URL and file name as well okay so we are uh, going to use the streaming response body uh, to achieve the HTTP uh, streaming inside that oh that is a streaming response body uh, streaming response body is a kind of a functional interface which uh, allow us to uh, to uh, implement the HTTP stream, it have only a one write to function. So the uh, using the lambda expression, we can now easily implement that. Like I'm putting this complete block. Uh, inside this so uh, function of the streaming response body so i don't need the stream builder anymore so instead of appending to the uh, stream builder i have uh, like uh, i'm writing to the uh, this streaming response itself okay after that uh, uh, it only support the byte type of uh, byte only we need to change the type of response body to streaming response body to get the HTTP streaming and instead of directly giving the response we can give the response body as this response okay So we need to give the response body. Okay, uh, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I just need to give the content type as well. Media type. Okay, print like a text plane. Semicolon is missing here so yeah we are good to go and i'm trying to rerun this uh, application again okay now the same server is up so now the tab i'm going to take in. API slash streams okay uh, wrong URL I given again it's stream only oh, see that immediately it is displaying the uh, line number so but you can still see that uh, the data the, we don't get the complete response it's still uh, loading only uh, but user does not treat that this way uh, the, with the help of streaming we can immediately give that uh, the response okay so now we are going to see on another use case like i already have in um, another function for logs okay so i have uh, an example 
file uh, there it is the log.txt it's a very large log file i need to show the logs uh, uh, in this uh, slash logs api so now i am trying to load this let's see how long it's take okay see i'm waiting i'm waiting since it's a very a big log file so after uh, uh, maybe like uh, five or six seconds only i am getting this uh, data loaded here so now i am going to do uh, implement the streaming in the or uh, the same place as well so i am going to copy the the same function or um, give some of the stream flash logs okay In the different file name here so now i'm going to do the same thing like adding the stream body adding all the uh, dependencies inside the stream body okay then uh, what i need to do I need to write to the as forms instead of uh, pending to the string builder. I'm trying to lie, write this and uh, flush the response after every line. Okay. I don't need the string builder. Like the same thing here also i'm copying from here so one place i also need to change the response entry time like this and uh, here i need to convert these two bytes okay now we are good to go i'll rerun this again It started. I'm sorry. If immediately without any any wait, I am able to see the data. But still, some data is so uh, uh, still streaming only. So, but the user does not have to wait for that. So that's how the this implementation of the. Or file reading functionality like in the actual scenario whether you have to display the large chunk of logs or large uh, files can use the same kind of scenario now we are going to talk about uh, one of the major use cases like uh, video streaming uh, kind of thing so here i have a function like, like uh, uh, using the uh, reactive environment like the flare Webflex, we are using the uh, mono interface and all. And uh, uh, if you check the uh, functionality, or uh, we kind of uh, reading from the byte array out stream only. But the major thing is I define a byte range, uh, and uh, based on that byte stream only, I split the means like I, uh, I split the large video into small small part, and I am writing to the output stream. For every part uh, so that we can achieve the HTTP stream okay now we are going to take the let me copy the 
no URL first. Okay. Uh, if you check that inside my resources and static, I have a, a video with a large uh, a size and a high resolution video. So I am going to stream that video. You see that immediately the video is opening and started the stream. But you can feel that there is no the complete resource is not loaded, but it's still loading and all. So uh, this and all about the video streaming based on the HTTP streaming. So the same method you can include like based on the zip file or audio file or whatever kind of resource also we need to be uh, like splitting to to avoid this we have to wait complete loading. Uh, but uh, there is a disadvantage as well like high latency or uh, if you uh, don't want to like means it's create a lot of high uh, high latency and overhead like uh, because it's a continuous connection and continuous sending over data so be aware of that and uh, uh, use the HTTP stream like uh, means only means it, it is required to use that so that's all I'm signing off okay I will uh, give the URL of the this uh, GitHub repository in my description thank you